What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Reacts, where I react to videos I see around the internet from narcissists and toxic people. Today, we have a line crying cheater that just beats on the floor, throws himself around, and begs and pleads for forgiveness. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. I feel like this is a little, a little bit dramatic. Like, I'm not a bitch, bro. This is how I feel. God damn it. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Boo hoo, yeah. It's hard for me to to, to film those videos and not laugh sometimes. Cause have I done stuff like that? The begging, crying. I haven't done the begging and crying. I'm more of the the get angry type person that just tries to use rage and anger to manipulate the situation. Passion, so to speak. I used to call it passion. I'm not angry. I'm just passionate. You know, that's what I used to do. But that's that's also manipulation as well, y'all. So that's not me trying to justify it. This is me just trying to tell you that I've also been extremely manipulative in my life in circumstances like that. But clearly, y'all, I know people fall for this all the time. But like, this is my this is the stance of my platform is to help raise awareness for stuff like this to show you that things like this are absolutely manipulation. Like that person right there has been extremely manipulative. Like he got caught cheating and now he's begging for forgiveness. You know what I mean? begging for forgiveness from his person whatever begging for forgiveness and things like that trying to make it seem like he's not at fault you know trying to make it seem like the other person is at fault like i'm hurt i'm hurting just as much as you are you know what i mean i know i cause you pain but look at how look at my tears in my face i'm in pain as well i'm hurting just as much as you are in these type of situations please forgive me please let me come back home please don't walk out the door Please, I understand that I hurt you, but look how much I'm hurting. I'm throwing myself. I'm throwing myself against the wall. I'm throwing myself on the floor on the yoga mat. I thought. He, I thought. Honestly, thought he about to get in downward. Uh, what's it called? Is it downward dog? When he had, when he got his uh, child's pose. Where he's a he is a yoga pose because there's, there's a yoga mat right there. So I was like, he's about to pose. You know what I mean? But this just goes to show you how extremely. Just sometimes people in these situations, they just go all out. He knows, and like he's yeah, he's crying, he's reacting like that. But but I did I, Lee. I thought narcissists couldn't cry. Ask yourself, who is that person crying for, y'all? Seriously, ask yourself, who is he crying for exactly? Is he crying because he actually hurt the feelings of the person that he loves and cares about, or is he crying because he's getting held accountable in his life, in his relationship, in his lifestyle, and his livelihood might be upended? Who is he crying for? Their reaction makes it seem like he's crying because he hurt that person. But I know, but I know better. You know better. People who cry in situations like that, you know, and do things like that are not, they're not sorry, y'all. Typically, they're sorry they got caught. They're not sorry that they hurt you. They're not sorry that they manipulated you. They're not sorry how we got here. Well, I'm sorry because I got caught and I'm being held accountable. The shame that you brought, on me, brought upon me. You're recording this, so I, I also think... I hope you don't show this to people because if I wasn't really true, this is how narcissistic people think, y'all. If I wasn't really hurting and really honest and being truthful, would I cry in front of you knowing that you could expose this? I'm only being real. I'm only being authentic and things like that. So you see that mindset that goes into a lot of this stuff as well, y'all. Are they being authentic? Tip, absolutely not. You think that person's been authentic, crying like that, y'all. Crying, begging, pleading, wheezing, all this stuff right there. Do you think he's been authentic? I know it works on people in person because the crying and emo showing his emotions and being passionate and you are, you are, well, look at you, you are hurting. Sometimes people in that position will actually start to hit on themselves, not just the rolling around on the mat, like throwing a childish tantrum because they're getting held up. They start crying and begging and pleading and throwing like hitting themselves. Like I'm so stupid. I made such a dumb mistake. I can't believe I hurt you. I, 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 they'll do things like that to make it seem like they are just in so much pain for what they've done to you. 
But ask your again, ask yourself who are they hurt like who are they really hurting or is this just theatrical? Because that's theatrical, y'all. That's 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 drama. Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Yeah, you see how it's like when you when they get caught up, it's like action. Hey, I you know, and you hear her in the video, she's like, I'm just sorry, like you're being dramatic right now. Yes, he absolutely is being dramatic. This is acting time. It's it, and scene. Uh act take see cheater caught up. Um uh, Cheater caught up uh, caught, caught by going through his phone and action, boom. <laughs> Begging, pleading, crying, snot rolling on his nose. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty pathetic. And you hear her, she's like, I feel like this is kind of dramatic. I'm just upset that you lied to me. He's like, and she, he was like, be, you can be upset, but don't just walk out. Don't walk out. He don't want her to leave. Even though he hurt her, and we all know typically in these situations, if you were to match that narcissistic person, the narcissistic, if you were to match that narcissistic person's energy, they wouldn't be as forgiving as they as they hope you are going to be. They would not be as forgiving. They would absolutely try to hold you accountable and hold this over your head for the rest of your life. But in this situation, if you ta- if she were to take him back or you were to take them back, they you can't bring it up anymore. Why would you keep bringing it up? If, you, if you've if you already forgiven me, if you've already taken me back, if I've already had this emotional reaction in front of you, why would you take me back if you're not completely over it? If you take them back in situations like this, you need to be over it. And that's just me being truthful and honest because they're going they're not going to let you bring it up. Because guess what? If you bring it up again, they're going to start an argument with you. They're going to argue with you. They are. They're going to get mad at you and they're going to rage out on you and argue with you and, t- and tell you that you're being too emotional. If you, you, even though he's how emotional he was, they're going to tell you that you've been too emotional and that you're living in the past. But they did it and they don't want to be held accountable. I'm just telling you, like, this is the, the y'all, yeah, I'm just being real. <laughs> I'm just being realistic with you because this is the mindset of a lot of toxic people and manipulators. They're going to do this, beg, plead, cry for forgiveness. And if you forgive them, you can no longer bring it up because why would you? You know what I mean? Like I said. If the opposite happened, they would bring it up every day for the rest of your life. You'll never ever hear the end of this ever. This will be this will be brought up for the rest of your existence. I promise you, you'll never get past this. I promise you, they'll continuously bring it up. I promise you, they'll continuously throw it in your face. I promise you. Every time you and, and typically also, they'll try to get you back. They won't just let this go. They'll try to get you back. They'll try to do something to get you back. They'll try to talk to your friends and they'll try to sleep with one of your cousins. They'll do something to try to get you back. And then if you catch them after they've caught you and held you accountable, they're going to just blame you. Like, well, you made me do this. Remember? Remember? You made me do this. You could worry about what you did. Remember what you did? But you can't do the same thing to them, y'all. But anyways, y'all, if y'all like this reaction video, send me some stuff. Tag me some stuff on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on Twitter now. I'm tweeting more. Tag me, send me some tweets, y'all. Send me some stuff on Twitter. I'll react to them. Anyways, y'all, like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.